Okay, so this is going to be a video on part of our video article series on how to make your own safe hauling trailer. Uh, first of all, this trailer was about $999 at Tractor Supply. Um, purchased six foot uh, by eight foot deck, wood deck. Option for the, I wanted the wood deck because the mesh screen does not deal with uh, pallet jack very well. So we're going to do a couple more modifications to this and make it an awesome safe hauling trailer. Uh, we got a piece of steel here. We're going to weld this onto the mesh gate right there. Uh, we're going to mount a box and a winch to the tongue of the trailer and then we will have a way for, to be able to go ahead and suck up our, our safe on here and uh, be able to go from there. Uh, this trailer has a 2,400 pound capacity. Um, it weighs 725 pounds, so it leaves 1,675 pounds for cargo. Uh, this little, nice little trailer like this uh, is perfect for home deliveries, home safes. Um, 1,600 pounds will get you into most gun safes and uh, a few, um, you know, burglary and fire resistant safes. Uh, one of the best things about this is it does have the uh, a 13 inch tire and the axle is sprung under. So that means that the trailer sits lower to the ground. So that is a huge benefit. If it were up higher, then that would be that much higher that you would have to lift something uh, very heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We'll take some pictures and do some video as we go. Starting with our welder, just got a regular 110 Lincoln MIG welder. Uh, go ahead and start tacking this down. Once you measure it up and make sure it's all square, grind your bar there. And if you have any kind of welding skills, just go ahead and set that on there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and tack this down and trim it up. Okay, so we've got our solid piece mounted on here and welded. We've got it welded all the way across here. We can see all the way across here and down we didn't weld it down here but we did tack it here and here uh, we got that piece cut off uh, so now we have this lip here that's going to bend down and actually touch the ground so when we go to roll a pallet jack up on here it'll be a smooth transition uh, so we're going to go ahead and custom bend that right now and uh, go from there okay so we got our tailgate flipped up here and uh, we put this little piece of angle iron in right here to go ahead and help support that. You can see how that's gonna work right there. It's gonna help support that tail piece as it goes down into here uh, and gets rid of that lip. So we just got some spot welding going on. Uh, we just hit it with a hammer to bend it down to what the ground level would be and then just weld it in place. Uh, that's gonna vary just depending on the approach angle for each job. Okay, we went ahead and welded us in a piece of this plate here. This was the end of their end piece that was right there. Uh, so I figured I'd make use of it. We're gonna put it right here. Uh, we reinforced it, welded it up real nice right here. Reinforced it with this heavy duty plate right here. And now we're gonna mount a winch and a truck box to that. So we can have a winch inside of our truck box to help pull things up on here.
just like that with our new trailer. This is about 600 pounds, a little over. Uh, it's uh, American Security um, BEF 3419, I think. So you can just see our winch right in here and how that helped out. It just pulled it right on up there. All of the features that we designed into this, such as the tailgate here. Uh, and then we simply lift it up and, and go on our way. So for more information, check out the website below.